Hello and welcome to the new blog for the 24th of August. Um, today's puzzle um, was another brute. Um, very, very good puzzle with lots of excellent clues. Um, so many thanks to the setter. Um, but in terms of uh, learning how to do these puzzles, that there, there weren't many easy clues here. Um, I think Mark finished in over 10 minutes, which I reckon must happen about once every three months for him. Um, I wasn't unhappy with finishing in 17 minutes, so it's um, yeah, it's 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 a it's a difficult one um, with a few uh, few odd words as well, and a very difficult country to spot because. You know, while no one expects the Spanish Inquisition, very few people expect um, a D and a J at the start of a of a word. Um, and Djibouti really, um, I think, really held a lot of people up. Um, what I want to talk about um, as we as we look at my solve, which will will appear on the screen now, um, is talk about some of the crossword E's that you. Um, that appears in the clues today. So some of the things that you know, may have held you up because you you wouldn't necessarily be thinking the same thing when you read the clue as an experienced solver would be thinking. Um, so there are a few examples actually. Um, if we if we take a look uh, while I flounder around trying to find an answer, you can see my cursor sort of flitting about while I enter no no letters in the grid. Let's look at five cross. So great many on satellite channel in the center. Um, I'd wager that most experienced solvers when looking at that clue wouldn't be looking at satellite channel and thinking sky or um, you know BT sport or something. They will be dissecting that into satellite and then channel in center. So they'll be looking at the, the central letters of the word channel um, and they'll be thinking about satellites um, probably in the, in the terms of moons. Um, so maybe even the word moon or one common satellite that you often get in crossword clues because it's so useful is IO. So um, often satellite equals IO. In, in crossword clues, and, and and that's something to remember. Um, okay, what which clue did I want to look at next in terms of this? Well, we can see actually. Let's just have a quick look at, again at thirteen across here, where we've got border secured in record time, but it won't last. Um, again, record um, record very often is either log, uh, EP, or LP. Um, here I think it was EP because it formed part of ephemera um, and just knowing that you can see how it fantastically helps with solving the clue because if, you, if we try and detect how the wordplay might work we, we, we said yesterday or two days ago that when we, we were looking at instructions in the middle of the queue, clue and we can, hear, we can see here we've got border secured in so we look like we need to put a word for record around the edge of something. Um, it's hard to see. it's possible I suppose that LP could go around the edge but but the EP looks much more likely to me anyway um, and that also helps with knowing that you know if you read the clue in that way you can see how it won't last is probably the definition and something that's ephemeral or um, uh, you know I think that will occur to, to experienced solvers reasonably quickly. Um, right, what now? Um, I wanted to have a look at uh, let's have a look at four down, which is still on the screen. So butter potentially that's no good sent out from blighty five letters. Now uh, again, I'd wager that that most people reading that clue, We'd be thinking about butter in terms of you know the spread that comes from cows and you know um, butter in crossword clues. However, almost always or very often uh, is referencing some sort of goat or in this case an antelope. 
something that butts, something that has horns. Um, so another little tip for you there. So, so I, I'm, sh you know, I, I was pretty sure when I read the clue I was looking for some sort of animal, um, and the, the reference to no good there. That's quite often abbreviated to ng. So I was trying to take ng out of, you know, a word for blighty. The most obvious one is obviously England, and there, therefore you get the answer. So um, I don't. I think that was my first answer in the grid, which. Um, which will probably seem astonishing to people who, who aren't familiar with these puzzles. Uh, let's have a look at 21 down. Uh, another piece of crossword is appearing here. So something sweet, a small volume, consumed by elder. So again, using the principles we've learned, we can see that the word consumed there is suggesting that um, I need to put a word for a small volume inside a word for an elder. Um, so I know my definition, therefore, is something sweet. Now, a small volume in crosswords, I mean, it might sound like uh, that could be the volume of a book. Um, very often, this is either going to be CC, in this case, it was actually CL, and that, that I actually wrote into my grid, as you'll see in a minute, ACC, because I thought, oh, you know, a small volume is a CC of something. Here, it's actually a centiliter that it's getting at. So again, See small, if you see uh, expressions like small volume, that's what you should be thinking. Um, 28 across while it's on the screen. We've got rider in old poetry recalled minors seizing day. Um, minors in crosswords, if you ever see minors, you should be thinking of the National Union of Minors, the NUM. Um, again, very helpful in solving this clue because when I got, got to it, Rider in old po poetry recalled meant nothing to me, but minus seizing day, I knew I was looking, you know, I was looking for NUM, um, probably around an, either an abbreviation for, for, for one of the days of the week, um, Manchu, Wed, etc., or just simply a D for day. And once you have NDUM, at the end of an eight letter word, you know, it's not too difficult to get addendum as probably one of the very few words that fits. I mean, there was, there was another one I noticed, I think at 27 across, where Oxford, uh, or part of Oxford, was, appeared in the clue. Um, now, again, um, most people will be thinking of that in terms of Oxford being a place. Um, experienced crossword solvers think of Oxford as a type of shoe. <laughs> so um, I was immediately looking there for um, part of a shoe, an instep looked likely because of the parking from the, from, the, from the clue. You know, it looked like there was a P in there. So six letter part of a shoe with a P in it. I can't think of anything other than instep actually off the top of my head. So then it was simply a case of trying to work out the rest of the clue how the wordplay worked. I think, what was it? So, church, I think it was Minster, was it, without the edges, the vergers. Very tricky wordplay. Um, and not, you know, the, the eye looked incredibly unlikely from Djibouti. Um, but but that, that was indeed the right answer. So, I hope this is interesting, and um, we'll see you again tomorrow.